Welcome to Deep Learning with Python video course by Pact Publishing. My name is Eder Santana and I'm an electrical engineer. I've been studying deep learning for a few years now as part of my PhD thesis, which is focused on memory, attention, and video processing with deep and recurrent neural networks. Along the way, I've been writing open source contributions in deep learning, image processing, and data visualization libraries. You can check out my personal website, lab profile, blog, and GitHub for more details. They are all under this link, edersantana.github.io. This is an overview about our course on deep learning, which is a neural network-based technology for machine intelligence. In other words, this is about writing program architectures whose specific details are adapted automatically to better solve problems. In our case, the architectures are based on several layer deep neural networks, and the details or the values of the network connections are adapted to give the best results on a task. And we will not only talk about the theory, but most importantly, we will build and train deep learning models in Python. For example, imagine that you have a large collection of pictures and you wish you could sort them up. You could spend a few days trying to design rules in the pixel space to tell the image differences. But here, we will learn how to write programs that get a few examples and learn the differences by itself. We will learn about deep learning models for solving both static, such as in images, but also sequential or dynamic problems, such as in time series and text analysis. We will go about these topics in six sections, starting from the basics, defining what is deep learning and its open source libraries. After we find out what deep learning is about, we will follow up with more details about backpropagation, which is the main algorithm for training deep learning models. Here, we will focus on automatic differentiation and the Theano library. Once we understand about backend libraries such as Theano, we are ready to dive into Keras, which is easier to use and can leverage all the power of Theano for deep learning while keeping a friendly API. In section 4, we approach the dogs versus cat image classification problem and learn how to use pre-trained neural networks. Using pre-trained neural networks, as we will see, can be really useful and flexible. Definitely something to have in your machine learning tool belt. Recurrent neural networks and their applications to dynamic inputs is our last subject. We cover that in section 5 by learning how to write for loops in Theano and how to use them for defining recurrent architectures. We end up our course with a bonus section where we propose a course project that should put all the knowledge acquired in sections 1 to 5 into practice. In this section, we will also discuss a little bit about TensorFlow, Google's machine learning library. For this course, I'm assuming you know how to program in Python and have some calculus and linear algebra knowledge. But don't worry if you don't get the math part. You can still easily follow along and learn how to use deep learning as one of the best general purpose programming tools these days. So let's start writing programs that learn by themselves to solve problems that we thought only humans could tackle. I hope to see you there.